be honored to, to welcome in all of you. And this is a very and timely summit indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, what can a forum like the IDF do to improve the situation? The answer to this question, we need to understand some root causes of food insecurity in this region. Food is our most essential needs for our life and stability and peace. We should aim to achieve food for all and eradicate hunger, achieve zero hunger and this can be only done through our constant effort and working together. So, um, common fact what we've been talking about, one third of mankind has no access to a balanced diet because of lack of funding. Worst affected are children from the point of conception to two years of age. We call that the critical window of nutrition. If this window is missed, the child can develop here, it cannot develop here, and it cannot develop here. Especially in the Asian country, we are we can say we have food surplus region, but at the same time we have a, a, a high level of malnutrition rate in the region as well. So we cannot just look at or pay attention on food production, but food access, use and utilization of food are the key to improve malnutrition. We have to raise the level of global investment in sustainable agriculture and food system in the next decade. We have to sustainably intensify agricultural production while reusing, reducing negative environmental impact on agriculture. Develop specific program and policy to assist populations and sectors that are most vulnerable to climate changes and food insecure. This is a very successful region, huge differences between countries and sub-regions, uh, and agriculture uh, concern, uh, despite the huge success going forward, productivity increase critical. Uh, examples to draw from, from within the region, Straight productivity increase may not be enough because of the nature of inequality. Inclusive improvements in agricultural productivity actually would be good for productivity itself in addition to being good for the distributional side. But unless that's coupled with special efforts on hunger and malnutrition, we won't get the benefits that we would like. And this highly doable, maybe the most doable part of the equation. And then finally, the world has changed from the first slide to the last. If climate adaptation plus mitigation are not factored in at some cost, then all the efforts elsewhere will be drowned and overwhelmed. What I want to focus on is the lack of effective knowledge transfer. So it's not only about making technologies available. We heard earlier today about this example of hybrid rice where one of the speakers said, actually the solutions are all there. Now it's about effective management. And this is really about sharing information and knowledge on how to do it.